welcome to my channel. As promised, I am sharing my belt collection with you. As usual, I'll be breaking down the eco tea on my items that I bought. And of course, yes guys, this is another of my Dolce and Gabbana belt. I love Dolce and Gabbana belts. I've always been looking, I've been looking for the camel or the tan color in in the Gucci belt, but it's always sold out, so I could never get it. And not that this is not equally valuable. I love this. I don't have many um, tan leathers with silver buckle medals, so I love this piece. It's really great. It's just a little bit too big. I think you guys have seen it in one of my previous videos. I wore it with my snake print dress. I, I love it. It goes beautifully with almost everything. So I really, really love this piece. Um, let's see if I could try it, try it on here for you. So. And as you can see here, it's a little too big. So it means I have to add another hole, right? A couple more holes right here for it to actually fit me. But it fits beautifully on lower waist jeans. Put it over the jacket. It's really, really gorgeous on jackets and coats. So I love that. Actually, all of my belts are. I bought them um, a little bit bigger to be worn over my jackets and coats. The only issue I have is when I'm ready to pair them with my um, shirt dresses as well as my regular dresses. They are a little bit too big, so that's why I have to give them more holes. But really, really love them. Of course, it comes in this dust bag here. So it's Dolce and Gabbana. And you guys should remember this when I fallerize my pieces in the fall. I pair this belt with almost every one of my fall items because. It is such a neutral, gorgeous piece that just pairs beautifully with everything. So really, really love them. My YSL belt is also one that I pair with my jackets and the coats. So let's give it a try here on this jacket. So you guys have seen me try this piece on in part one and as you guys know, it's all leather. Today we are focusing on leather. And the most important thing I want you to keep in mind is to question whether your leathers come from meat animals or whether animals were killed mindlessly just for the hides. Really love them guys, really love them. And yes, of course, the Dolce and Gabbana is also 100% calf leather. Or cowhide, I think. It's really, really thick. This I would have forever. And yeah, it's the kind of leather that would patina or it would age gracefully. So I love that. Love it, love it, love it. And of course, guys, you guys know I've done an unboxing with this. You guys know my, my Gucci belt. I love it to pieces. If you need more details, you'll definitely go check it out. So this is it here. Really, really love, love my Gucci belt. I wear it with, with everything. So yeah, guys. Sorry to interrupt, guys, but just a quick note. Hi, guys. If you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when i post new videos 
and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love ya let's get back to the video and like all the pieces in this haul my belt was bought from Vestier Collective and it's also 100% leather as expected as you guys know leather is a natural fiber and it definitely has some ethical concerns when it comes to your leather items so do pay attention to where you get your leather from and when possible thrift or buy second hand so that you don't put any animals at risk this one as you guys may know is a four centimeters one I had returned the bigger one because I wasn't getting that for my money. It I would love for my belt to of course be able to be paired with my jeans. If it can't be paired with my jeans, that's a no-no. So this looks great. But it's too wide. It's too wide for my belt. For my jeans. It was mainly for my coats, and that's just winter. So this I can wear with coats as well as my dresses and pants. So I am definitely getting more wear for this because I am a professional woman. So I wear lots of trousers and dresses and so I can wear this anytime and anywhere as opposed to the is it three inches I think it's three inches very much similar to my Zara belt the one the big Gucci one and so I use that Zara belt on any and every occasion because it's also leather very similar my one. So these are they. As you guys know, I love me some double belting. So the broader one at the top is the Zara belt, and the smaller one is the Prada. I showed you earlier, so it's just a bit wider and it's a bit sturdier as opposed to the Gucci belt. I was fearful of wearing the Gucci belt because I'm thinking it dents too easily. It's not very visible here, but if you check out my unboxing video, you would see what I'm referring to. It's a little bit too fragile for me. Though. I can't feel comfortable like, wearing it without it getting a scratch. So I was concerned about that, but I don't, I don't want to be scared of wearing my items. Added to that is the fact that it was also too big for me, and I didn't want to add an extra hole because that would reduce its resale value. Yeah, so I, I took it back and I got the Zara big one and I'm now in the market for a camel one, just like the big Zara one. If, if anybody knows where, any, where I can find it, definitely let me know. And I may still buy the Gucci camel one because I love it but that depends on my budget in the next couple of years. It's not a need, so it's not something that I absolutely have to have. And that is my mindset right now. If I don't absolutely have to have something, I'm not going to buy it unless I'm absolutely ready for it or comfortable buying it when I think I have the extra money, maybe for my birthday or something like that. As usual, I buy most of my high-end items or luxury items for my birthday on special occasions. I don't just often go out and say I'm going to buy them because God knows, yeah, it's not necessarily something that is so important to me. I am not a luxury um, person so much. I buy what I love. If it happens to be luxury, fine. But anyway, guys, that's it. Those are my absolute favorite belts, and I love them. I I wear them with 
with absolutely everything. And that's the environmental specs on those guys. As I said, for me, fabric, fit, and style, those are key. That's my mantra when it comes to buying stuff. And as you can see, those fit beautifully and they're definitely in line with more environmentally and sustainably kind of fashion pieces because I can wear these pieces for a very, very long time. And they are plant-based or, well, these are animal-based and they are natural fibers. So I find comfort in those aspects of it. Remember guys that fast fashion is not the answer and that's what we are trying to avoid. We are trying to avoid buying so many items and we are trying to avoid just jumping on the trends and we are trying to buy less, buy wise, buy natural fibers and also we are trying to send a message to the companies that they need to invest in the environment, in our well-being, in our sustainability, so that going forward, we are able to use our resources wisely, and buy, eat, wear what we absolutely need so that we don't compromise the future of the generations going forward and so with that said i'm out of here stay informed stay environmentally conscious and i'll see you in the next one take care guys bye